Hey Deckers, today we're looking at Soul Mask. Huge thanks to the company BioLurkit for giving us a key to test this one out. It's been storming our chart on the recently released, topping over 45,000 daily active players. Check out the SDG Companion app if you want to check this out. Released only on the 30th of May and setting a new peak of 46,000 this weekend, you can see why. This is just like Rust or Enshrouded, that style of genre survival that actually runs incredibly well on the Steam Deck. However, it doesn't have controller support, so you are going to see a custom mapping here. But the good news is I've shared that with the community, so hopefully you can find it. And I'll come on to that in a minute. As you can see, the graphics are phenomenal, but there is so much depth to this game, even with having your own tribesmen online or offline and yes multiplayer online is working but there is a bit of an issue with this overall not that specific but multiplayer just is not the greatest on this with it also a huge tech tree to really get your teeth into just so much on the building crafting survival side as well as all of that tech as well now the issue is that there seems to be a problem with it remembering servers i don't know if this is steam deck specific but no matter what i do what servers i join how long i'm in them for how i leave them they never appear in the servers played on when i come back to continue so do make sure that you take note of the server that you joined in the online game now also on the deck if i go out and back into the game the online servers don't always refresh and I have to restart the game and go straight into the online to see those servers. So if you do get this, just restart the game and don't go anywhere else but the online section and you should be able to join those just fine. A big question that we're we'll always ask, and I'm very glad to be able to say this, this does work fully offline with the local game and you are encouraged to play locally, get used to the game at least. But also, especially with those server issues, you don't want to lose your world and running offline gives you all the benefits and you can even have people join you later on if you want to. Now, best settings wise, it takes a bit of tweaking on this, but essentially the medium settings with a couple of tweaks. The upscaling really doesn't work very well in this at all. So just keep the upscaling down as the standard and put it on 80% resolution scale. Shadows on low and post-processing effects on low but everything else on medium and v-sync off and the frame limit you can set to 30 which i recommend in a little while but i just wanted to show that this can actually run around 40 with some dips here and there so you can push it to 40 if you want but i do recommend for stability capping this to 30 frames per second both in game and also on the deck itself now it will still dip down occasionally in some loading spike areas and when there's really loads of stuff loading in initially but other than that you are going to have a very stable experience as you can see here you will need to show this on a smaller screen and make sure your resolution's up as well but this is absolutely gorgeous looking especially on the oled deck and with those settings it will push down to 16 watts in most cases but can still push up to 22 watts so you're only going to get around two to four hours gameplay depending on what you're doing now as i mentioned i do have a custom controller mapping for this there is a lot because this is a built for a keyboard and mouse game and thanks to the deck we can make those custom layouts so Hopefully you can find the Soul Mask SDG keyboard mouse layout on the community layouts as I did export this. Although this hasn't been exporting the latest versions all the time. So if the map button is missing, then make sure you bind the back paddles to the map and F1 and F2 as well. Otherwise you won't be able to accept some stuff later. Now do be warned, this game is brutal. And when you think that you are good enough, you will often be outnumbered. So make sure you lure people outside of camps before you dive in because the AI is very unforgiving. And if you haven't got some backup, then a lot of the time you're just gonna get teamed up on and wiped out. Overall though, combat is extremely good, very Monster Hunter style on the combat, which does take a bit of getting used to, but is extremely satisfying when you get it right. Overall though, it is running fantastically well on the Steam Deck and it is still early access, so there's going to be a lot more to come from this one and definitely one of my favourites of this type of genre so far, especially as it runs great on the deck. Let us know in the comments below if you're going to be diving into this one. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.